10, 9, 8, Side six, five, four, three, two, side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation two and a half minutes into flight. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. Major event coming up with side booster shutdown and separation. Side boosters, vehicle. Successful separation. We're coming up on Miko and shutdown. Coming up on bearing separation. Center core side engines on fire, also look good. of a show, haven't they? And it looks like everything that was supposed to happen did happen. I say looks like. What a lot, you know, as one who was there, there's the car, Phil Keating, it's the car. Can you, can we see it? That's amazing. I'll clip on that car, little uh, thruster rockets to keep the car. Space time continuum. Orbit. Yeah. And they also have three cameras, which, according to Elon Musk, CEO and founder of SpaceX, will provide some epic views of that car traveling and it did. deep into space. Pretty incredible, you know. They, they, there's a lot riding on this for these guys. This is just a test flight, but they've set it up as a as a huge event. The crowds are insane. I guess they sold out of 
out of official viewing seats or spaces in like 24 hours or something? Yeah, it's about, there's about 100,000 people estimated to be lining wow. up the beaches of Florida's Space Coast today. They all got started early with their picnic uh, chairs and their coolers full of beverages and water to get ready to watch this spectacle. And the 130 planned launch, of course, was delayed because of upper level wind shear. But with just 15 minutes left in today's launch window, that was just absolutely spectacular. And based on everything we've seen so far, it appears this demonstration flight is an absolute success. And we're hoping Elon Musk is going to provide some sort of uh, post-launch statement here. Let's see, where are we? We're hey, about Phil, four minutes I away now. Go ahead, sorry. We're about four minutes away from those two outer rocket boosters to, uh, they're falling down now, and at some point we'll be able to see the glow of their engines as they then, then blast a reverse thrust and go landing over the Air Force Station at the landing zones. And then as I mentioned earlier, the center core will continue uh, out towards the Atlantic to try to land on the drone ship. Never before in the history of space travel have three rockets blasted off from a launch pad, delivering the payload what appears to be flawlessly, and then landing all three rockets back on land to then be recycled and reused for future launches. Still to come for SpaceX is their uh, BFR, big rocket, that will have a huge <laughs> spacecraft to take space tourists. Yeah, and uh, a large, large rocket. And that was that, The plan for that is to go, oh, we can see the uh, two booster rockets coming down right now. Um, can your light, camera see gonna, it? It's going to make it. It's going to be two sonic booms uh, to uh, really thrill the crowds that have gathered. And you can hear the crowd and electricity in Hawthorne at SpaceX headquarters. They are still going nuts like they're at the Super Bowl. Uh, this is a big deal for that company. It's a big deal for other space companies. Uh, this is proving this can be done. The fuel on board, kerosene and liquid oxygen. And it was loud. It was thunderous. And as the rocket rose up above Earth in Cape Canaveral, just the percussion in the air was like seven uh, drummers just blah, 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 blah. it was just incredible and so those two rocket boosters are descending right now and that will be another uh, double sonic boom spectacle for what is a multiple event demonstration flight launch today ship hey uh we're kind of watching the thing can you see the screen phil i can yeah you know, the, I guess the idea here is everything is reusable, and if this works, everything's going to be a, a heck ton cheaper. Yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, the Elon Musk model for SpaceX is reusability, driving down the cost of launches, ultimately getting these Falcon rockets to blast off and deliver payloads like satellites and U.S. military payloads uh, on a very rapid turnaround basis. Just pot it up and listen. No, no mics open, just leave, stay with it, stay with it. And the Falcons have landed. Wow. LZ1 and LZ2, both side boosters have touched down. Right now, it's very moving on to you. Right now, it's very moving on to you. Right now, it's very moving on to you. And coming up very shortly, the Center Corps will be attempting its landing on the autonomous spaceport drone ship. The core landing is next. So you saw those two rockets fill the core now. Let's listen to the SpaceX people. Loose signal. We're crossing our fingers, that's not the case right now. Stage two, nominal parking orbit insertion. Uh, so it looks like that landing is happening at the moment. We have lost signal. Uh, we're hoping that signal comes back shortly. Well, look at this. Uh, SpaceX has some anchor people. Phil, I think they're trying to take our job. Is it a signal loss, Phil, or is there a problem? There's a, 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 a signal issue. The drone ship is so far out east of Florida on the over the horizon, the curvature of the Earth sometimes make that, makes that signal um, hard to reach Earth, and that's what they're trying to work on right now. But um, the first two, wow, those sonic booms, just uh, explosively loud here where we're standing. I, re I remember being there for shuttle launch after shuttle launch, working in that local market there, and that feeling is nothing you'll ever forget. Compared to that, Phil, what was this? 
Very similar to the shuttle launches we covered, uh, you know, the last ones being in 2011, Atlantis being the final shuttle flight. And the crowds today, not only here at the Kennedy Space Center campus and over at the visitor center viewing uh, spots, but all up and down the beaches. You couldn't get a hotel uh, if you hadn't had a reservation prior to yesterday. And just the lines of cars getting in here today, uh, just massive interest. The biggest crowd since 2011, without a doubt. And there was really a sense, you know, Blue Origin has now set up a rocket manufacturing facility over on Space Commerce Way. Uh, a lot of the jobs have coming, are coming back here after they initially lost a lot and saw an economy slipping right after the shuttles were retired. There is really a sense of a resurgence in the Space Coast over the past year or two. Uh, Phil, they lost that, that signal for a minute, but now the signal's back, and well, now the anchors are back. But we were watching, and we will again. There's the, the launch pad. But those were live pictures coming from space, not from NASA, not from the government, from a private company yeah. that is planning to transform space travel and fill, again, transform the space coast, I suppose. Absolutely. More companies are coming. More jobs are happening here. Uh, they're all high-paying, high-tech, you know, engineering-type jobs. And so the local economy has certainly seen uh, that boost over the past two years. And this really opens the door if this launch proves to be as successful as it appears it has gone. Uh, it opens the door for bigger payloads, you know, satellites that are launched up by satellite companies to geosynchronous orbit at 22,300 miles above us. Uh, those are a certain size based on how strong and powerful the rocket can be to deliver them into space. So if you've got one of these Falcon Heavies that can take up the equivalent of a 737 airplane, well, you can possibly build even larger satellites to accomplish even more global watch. Look at that car picture. That's incredible. Phil, let's watch it again and, and just listen to the sights and sound on, on, on location. Sonic. When are we going to hear from Elon Musk? Uh, we'd like to see that and hear that very soon here. Um, there's nothing official planned, but we are hoping with the performance of the Falcon Heavy here in the past 30 minutes that Elon Musk is going to come out and uh, express some elation here. He was telling us yesterday he was not all that stressed out, actually kind of giddy and happy and felt confident his team had done everything they possibly could could to ensure a launch, but never before has a rocket with 27 super powerful engines blasted off all at once, and there were some serious risks that these engines could impact uh, one of the other boosters and then perhaps cause an epic explosion on the launch pad, which would have been devastating, setting back launches by about six to nine months or up in space. Uh, but so far, everything just looks golden on today's demonstration flight. Fantastic. It was a lot of fun to watch. Phil, you're the best. We'll be back in yep. just a